all over your face and on your neck. I'll insert a photo of what I looked like. I literally looked scary. That's actually really cool. I haven't seen what it looks like from the back. No, you I see you. I obviously liked you. Hello. Would you guys ever get a dog? Do you mind? Good morning, everyone. Again, it's not the best weather, but we're just going to go to the beaches that we planned on going to. So we're going to go to Lucky Bay, and then I think tomorrow we're going to go to that other one, and then that's it. We're leaving on is it Thursday morning. We may leave a bit earlier so we can get there, like get to Perth earlier. But yeah, this is the weather today. It's still like beautiful, but it would have just been amazing, you know, having a picnic on the beach without it raining. But um, this is my outfit for today. It's just a set from Princess Polly that I've had for literal ages. Um, Peter's just making scrambled eggs for us. Um, and then we'll be on our way. So I'll vlog our day um, and hopefully it clears up for us over the next couple of days. Stunning. Yum. We're ready to go. I think we're going to the beach that's far, actually. Change of plans. It's still, the weather is still, it's actually sprinkling now. So hopefully <laughs> the weather's all right where we're going. I literally have done this makeup every day. Um, since being here, I haven't even done a full face of makeup. I've just been using, what have I been using? Yeah, those, um, I use a tanning water and then I use, I do my moisturizer, sunscreen, drunk elephant serum drops, and then lust foundation, set it with a translucent powder and then highlighter. That's it. What beach are we going to? I don't know yet. I know. I also did a tan last night. <laughs> Um, I used the Barley Body again, but I didn't keep it on for as long as I did the first time. And you can't really tell, can you, that I've got a tan on? Usually I go a lot darker, but it's probably because I only had it on for four hours. We're at Wharton Beach. The weather's actually not bad. It's not raining, but it's still cloudy. The sand is so white. Do you think the sand's wider here or at twilight? I reckon yeah. here. Yeah, this is really nice. The water would be fucking freezing though. <gasps> yeah. You can wear these. <gasps> that's actually not nah, that's freezing. I would not go in there. white. Where are we going? Lucky Bay today. Thought I'd show you my outfit because it's quite cute. So I've got this like scarf, but I wrapped it around and made it a top. These are the Jagger and Stone bikinis. This is a Ralph Lauren long sleeve top. I think it's men's. I got it years ago and I was going to throw it out, but thank God I kept it because it's a cute little throw over. And then my favorite pants from Verge Girl. Didn't really say hello properly this morning. I just showed you guys my outfit. But um, yeah, we're heading to Lucky Bay, which is the beach that the kangaroos chill at. Also, how cute. I put a little 
glow charm in my helix bit cute um, we're just waiting on Marnie where's she going clothes shopping and then we're gonna get a coffee from I think it's called cloud 11 it's probably one of the better coffee shops here this is the coffee place it's so cute uh, he wants a cappuccino it's like hidden but look how cute it is on the inside Last time we came here, remember it was all great. Yeah, because it was cloudy. The water is insane. That'll come back. Look at our setup. Just what? Thistle Cove. It's pretty similar to where we just were, actually. Just on these rocks. <laughs> They're taking a selfie. It's so random because you wouldn't think there'd just be like a beach <laughs> near here. It's so nice. This is our little kitchen, but I think I've showed you guys. It's not like flash. I'm gonna have some hot cross buns because I'm on holiday. What are the macros? Holy shit. Oh, well, didn't say that. Um, gonna have this and then I'll have one piece of toast. I'm gonna toast it, I think, in there. And I've been having these every day. I actually really like these coffees. Yeah, uh -uh, burn that one a bit. We also realized that there was this the whole time. Also, there was no plate, so we're sharing this cheese board thing. <laughs> Stunning. Yum. So, it's our last day here, and we're heading back to Twilight Beach. It's probably Bye. our favorite beach, Twilight Bay, sorry. Also, I put a hair extension in. Can you see the hair extension from the back, Peter? Well, or not? Probably not. I put it no. in and then I put my hair up in this little clip. Just to make it look thicker. Kind of like it. Okay. <laughs> so we're back at Twilight Bay. Just waiting for the sun to come out. Apparently it should clear up later on today. But yeah, we're just going to be spending our last day here, I think. We just got coffees little like coffee van um, up there in the car park but yeah we're leaving tomorrow morning I think so we can get back into Perth not late so yeah I'm gonna go now because people are staring at me <laughs> all right we're ready to go we're packed up so we have about a let's say eight eight and a half depending on how many times we stop it took us around nine and a half to get here but we stopped like 
four or five times. Like we had lunch and then when we'd stop for fuel, we'd like have a drink or whatever and relax and stretch. I can't believe we were there for 10 days. Sorry about my lack of vlogging. I just, yeah, we just like spent time as a family and I didn't have my vlog camera out as often as like last week or like usual, which is understandable. Um, but yeah, back to regular programming, I guess. I've got so much to do when I get home. So we get home around let's just say like six or seven at night. I'm not really sure, just depending on like how many times we stop. I've got about 140 orders to pack. I'll do that tomorrow though. Um, and yeah, I've just got so much to do. I've got to clean all of my clothes, clean my house. Next week, wait, yeah, next week we're going to go get dining chairs. Like we literally have to because mum and her partner is coming in two weeks. Oh my God. They're literally coming at the end of March. That's crazy. Um, and they're staying for a week. What do you need? Uh, can I use my normal card? You just need any card that taps. You could try. I'm just at the car wash. Peter's just hosing down his car because it's so dirty. Even though I said, like, why wouldn't you just clean it when you get home? Because we literally have to drive through mud. And he's like, no, I want to <laughs> drive in a clean car. Fair enough. Um, so, yeah, we're just at the car wash now. We're going to go get Coffee Cat. Um, but yeah, well, as I was saying, yeah, mum's coming at the end of the month for a week. But yeah, I don't know what we want to do. Like, I really want to take her to Rottnest, but it's not summer. Like, it will still be beautiful, but... Um, yeah, we don't really have that much plan. I think she just wants to see me, so she doesn't really care what we get up to. But yeah, recap of Esperance, it was just like picture perfect. Like I've never seen blue waters like this before. If, you've, if you're you from Perth, 110% recommend coming down here. Was 10 days too much time? Like yes and no. Like I feel like if the weather was bang on every single day, 10 days would have been... A long time but if the weather was perfect I think five to seven days would have been enough time um, we had about three to four days of just doing nothing like because the weather was shit it was cloudy and raining so we literally spent like those days in our Airbnb when I had coffee there wasn't really much you could do outdoors but um yeah like I would say five to seven days would be perfect to see all the beaches I got a highlight on my Instagram anyways from all the places that we went to yeah so the Airbnb we stayed at was I'm pretty sure it was called Blue Haven and there's two suites so it's basically a big massive house on the cliff and they've divided it into two like two rooms I guess or like two separate um parts of the house so I think we were in suite one um which was the two bedroom suite I think they're both actually two bedroom yeah they're both two bedroom but we were on the side that the trampoline was on um like the location absolutely amazing I think that's what you're paying for because it is quite expensive like the actual inside of the house was okay like it wasn't the cleanest I'm gonna be completely honest like it wasn't the cleanest so if you're like a clean freak you might not like it. I personally don't really care. Like, I'm easy. Um, like, it's not like a modern, you know, amazing house. Like, literally, Crown Towers is the same price. But, like like I said, you're paying for the location. Um, would I stay there again? I don't know. I feel like I would want to try a different, like, maybe a resort or a different style of accommodation next time we come here. But we'll definitely be coming back, that's for sure. Um, but, yeah, I think maybe next time we stay we'll stay somewhere more like central because it's it's about a five to seven minute drive I guess into the city but location like on the cliff was amazing the people that were staying on the other side of the house actually um well he proposed to her yesterday which was so cute not at the house I think they were at they proposed just at some beach but yeah the host was telling us do you mind there was lots of like moths and like mosquitoes so definitely bring insect repellent like I'm literally like scratching my whole body and those fucking March flies oh my god they literally bite you they bite you when they land on you like what and they're massive I've never seen anything like it um also oh my god that seal it's actually not a seal it's a sea lion you have to go to Bandy Creek I don't know if they're there all the time but we went there twice 
a girl actually damned me on Instagram and was like, I'm from Esperance, head down to Bandy Creek when you're here because you'll most likely see the wild sea lion that just chills on the jetty. And I was like, you're joking. And we went there um, that day, no, the day after, and it was there and it was so freaking cute. I, yeah, obviously did vlog, but like never, ever seen a wild sea lion before, ever. Like you would never see that in Queensland. So that was so cute. Um, We did go to Lucky Bay. Unfortunately, we didn't get my kangaroo on the beach photo or I didn't see any kangaroos on the beach. When you Google Lucky Bay, that's all that comes up, kangaroos on the beach. Maybe you have to go in the morning or when the sun is setting. Um, But we did bump into some on the way home, but they were in the car park, which was super cute. Um, But, yeah, I really (laughs) – I just wanted to see kangaroos on the beach. But, like, Lucky Bay was amazing, like that whole area that we went to yesterday was incredible I really loved um was it hellfire hellfire beach I think it was called hellfire beach that was up there with one of my favorite beaches slash bays that and twilight amazing blue haven again amazing I did leave a list in my last vlog of everywhere we went but I'll update it in this vlog as well how long does he want to he's doing a whole fucking clean better go I did put a little Instagram questions thing on my story so hopefully at one point when we get bored we'll film a little Q&A so we'll see what you guys ask us I'll try and get Peter in it as well um but yeah I probably won't vlog for the rest of the day or until we get home because we'll just be driving pretty much all day um but yeah that's a little update on Esperance such an amazing town not gonna lie there's not that much to do at night um like there yeah there isn't really much to do at night it's more of like a day thing which fair enough like the beaches are amazing um but yeah like I I will be back and if you live in Perth come here like it is a hundred percent worth the drive and even if you're not from Perth fucking fly here like you can actually fly here from Perth I think I would prefer to drive like there's so many like it's an experience driving and I've never really been into like four-wheel driving or anything like that until I met Peter because his family's got a four-wheel drive and they do it all the time um so yeah I only really started doing this stuff when I started seeing Peter pretty much and I love it it's so freaking fun first time I did four-wheel drive on the beach I shot myself but I love it now. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we did majority of the time, or we tried to. Um, but, yeah, that's a little update on Esperance. Okay, we've stopped at Newdigate. Look at how, like, country-looking this post office looks. <laughs> like, you could not get any more rural than that. <laughs> I think we're about four and a half maybe even five hours from Perth. We're about to go into the IGA. There's an IGA here. Um, The boys just filled up their cars actually just before this. Um, But yeah, we're going to go and get some snacks from IGA because I'm feeling a little bit peckish. We did bring along a continental roll again um, for lunch that we had just before. Um, But I feel like something sweet or maybe just like a drink or something. Um, So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, we're going to answer some of your questions that you sent in on Instagram. Sorry if it's wobbly. I'm trying to, like, stabilize the camera. What beaches slash destinations in Esperance did you guys love and not love? Okay, well, my favorites were definitely Twilight, which is, like, the... It's kind of like a bay with, like, those rocks in the background. And what was the one that we went to... It's on the page. Page. Hellfire. Oh, hellfire. That was another really cute cove. Well, it was a beach, it was but a like it was a bay, was a bay, bay. with probably. like a massive rock that we chilled on. Um, they were probably my top favourites, but honestly, every single beach that we went to was like crystal clear and so blue. But they're probably my fa- oh, Blue Haven was also a fave. What were your favourites? Um, probably Twilight. Number one. Yeah, that was your fave because it was so calm and there was there wasn't many waves. It's easy to snorkel. Oh yeah, he snorkeled. I didn't bring any snorkeling gear. Maybe next time. Is that it? That was your oh, fave. I liked them all. What was your least fave? 
Not really. I like them all. I like because like then the other ones you go full driving on, so I, I like that. So like, yeah. But then I prefer to maybe swim at twilight. So they will have the pros and cons. Well, mainly not really cons. Just like twilight's good for snorkeling. Like each beach had their own. Or bay. Trying to think of one that I didn't like. Like genuinely trying to think. We didn't go to any we didn't like. We didn't swim at Blue Haven because it was a bit choppy. Like it was windy that day. Um, just I guess they're like all, all no, no no. How about uh, Nine Mile? That would probably be. Oh. It was still pretty, but like it was just a beach. Like there was nothing. It was just stairs down to like just, a beach. Just ten mile long, which is not as long. Yeah, but literally everywhere, every single beach that we went to was amazing. Would you guys ever get a dog? If this is wobbly, I'm gonna be so upset. Hopefully not. Um. I've always really wanted a dog, but we're just, well, I'm so busy. I don't think we will anytime soon. Too but busy. I mean, if you just came home and surprised me with a dog. Too busy. We'll I wouldn't be we'll mad forget, about it. Probably forget about it. Oh, yeah, we got a dog. <laughs> nah, not right now, but definitely we'll probably get one. Do you reckon? Maybe when we have kids? Which is another question. When are you having kids? Well, I kind of want to get married first, but if uh, kids guess, happen first, the order. yeah, if kids happen first, that's fine, but yeah, dog probably when we have kids, or maybe before, who knows, maybe you might buy me one. Yeah. Best part of the trip, Just what was your favourite part? The whole thing, every time, every day we went somewhere, it was good. Yeah. Probably. Oh, the best part is when it was good weather. What was your favourite day? Yeah, my favourite day was probably Whenever the sun was out. When we went to Hellfire, because that was probably the best day. You nah, know, when we chilled on that rock. The best day was probably when we got here. Yeah, but we didn't really do oh, anything. We just we, did. we just sort of like yeah. That day where we had went to Hellfire and Lucky Bay and we drive along that beach. Wait, that was was that yesterday? No, two days ago. So confusing. That was probably my favourite day. The only thing that I we don't like about Esperance is that there's not really much to do at night, like you were yeah, saying we're, before. Yeah, it's not town, but town. And everything closes at like 4 p.m. Like if you wanted well, to have a late want. lunch, <laughs> like everything's closed. So yeah, but that's probably the only down. If you find it, you're happy to eat Maccas every day. Then. <laughs> it wasn't I mean, our diet wasn't the best at the same time it wasn't like it wasn't out really of bad whack. yeah no. oh actually it was when at night time sitting in the lounge room eating the yeah because we freaking bought lollies and all this shit yeah, from Woolworths that. your mum you. actually your mum bought think, licorice and then it was I all think, downhill I, from then I think that was you buddy <laughs> what's something you both want to get done in 2021 well I want to get a travel oh, oh yeah travel <laughs> That would be great. Hopefully in, is it September? Did they say, or October? Yeah, in October. But um, we'll who see. fucking knows? We'll see. Um, I do want to get a warehouse slash like just space. It doesn't have to be like a big warehouse for Jazz Handmade. So the house isn't a bloody shop anymore. Yeah. <laughs> um, just like somewhere where I can like take content and just like go every day and just like have a little space where I can pack orders and stuff. I'd like to get like someone to help do that as well You'd eventually. Be more motivated in, in yeah, like, your like own. actually getting up and going. It's a bit funny when you like get out of bed. It's like oh, it's go to the next room. Yeah, let's just walk up to the room, pack all. Just like yeah. feel like sometimes like, oh. I don't even get ready. Okay, the battery died again, so hopefully this isn't too bad on my phone. What will we say? Oh yeah, um, obviously warehouse yeah. slash office and travel if we can. And another person asked, where's the first place? want to go when travel goes back to normal. Depends on the month, as in, what's it called? The, like depends when on the season. Opens, yeah. I want to go back to Japan. Badly. Yeah, we really want to go to Japan. But, but like for summer if, or winter? I love winter. I went there in winter. I'd go in winter, but I also really want to see it in yeah. summer. But I think winter would be more fun. I think, I think I'd rather just go there for winter so I can snowboard. But I feel like that wouldn't be like our first place we go to. No, but that's, that's what I mean. Let's say travel opened up like end of the year, say December, January. That's December. Our summer is Japan's winter. So like you would go, you know what I mean? You'd yeah. go to Japan, see end of the year when the borders open or whatever borders, you know, with international. Yeah. If 
but that wouldn't be the best time to go to Europe unless yeah, you want to true. go for like what's the what's Europe in the end of year? Same thing. Isn't it? No, Winter? isn't it like uh, there's summer is now mid-year. mid-year. So like say so we probably so if we could travel mid-year, then I'd rather go to Europe than yeah. Japan. You know, it depends. Yeah, it would, on I the, don't reckon it'll open mid-year. No, nah, I don't think I'd want to go that soon. <laughs> but yeah, let, 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 let people test the waters. <laughs> So Probably yeah. like Bali, I reckon. Like, uh, I, like realistically, I think if Bali opened, say July, September, we would go to Bali. Surely. Not, I don't know. I was after to see what it's like. Lies in like how this whole. Like, I reckon people the, are just gonna flock there. Like as soon as borders yeah, well, open. Yeah, let's just let, let's let people flock <laughs> there and see how their experience yeah, is. I reckon it'd be fine. Surely. But yeah, we definitely want to go back to like Europe as well at one stage. Oh, and Canada. <laughs> everywhere. But like, I mean, everywhere. No, but, Canada, um, America, definitely can do more of it. Oh, I wouldn't go back to America anytime soon. I'd rather I do would. a I Europe. Like it. Yeah, because you love the food. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'd, I'd rather do Europe first and Japan before America again, I reckon. Oh, yeah, I just I'm, went. I'm just saying, not in order. It's just like I want to, I want to go back to America. Yeah. But then, saying all those places I mentioned, I'd want to go back. Yeah, we just want to go anywhere. Another like to be 30 honest. times. Yeah. That's not like it's going to be the last time. Do you think we would ever be like ever would have thought of being together after Kentucky finished? No. Nah. <laughs> Brutally honest, no. Nah. I didn't either. I just thought, oh yeah, that was fun, and then we just kept in contact, really, and then. Um, well, our group was like planning to do a little trip to Bali and then I don't know they just weren't keen and we were still keen no I think it was no what was it, was it the group I thought it was just you me and your no was we, we like put it out there that we want to go to Bali was it with one of my other group? friends I thought it was after. well one of my friends wanted to go and then that fell through and then we still wanted to go so we were like do we go alone, lol? I'm just too spontaneous. And I then yeah, do it. I would never usually do something like that. I can't yeah, even so believe Mum let me, like, to be honest. No, but I did tell her that we were going with, like, other people. And then when I got there, I was like, oh, lol, jokes. No one else ended up coming. Um, but, yeah, we booked it, like, it was it three months after Kentucky? So we hadn't seen each other. So we'd, we'd obviously, like... FaceTimed and stuff. Or do we even FaceTime? Thanks. Probably Thanks. not. Just text for like three months and then saw him at the airport three months later at Bali Airport and I was literally shitting myself. Did I tell you I was on the phone to like one of my friends, like sweaty? Yeah, help. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what if it's like not the same? What if I like, I don't know, what if it's just not the same as Europe? Yeah, right, I wasn't going for that reason. I know, but I like, was just I, going yeah, but I obviously, yeah, but obviously, wow. No, I obviously you, liked you. But I, I just, I was just saying, like, let's let's party. <laughs> well, I obviously liked you. That's why I was nervous. Like, I'm, like I was just thinking, oh, what if you like yeah. don't like me the same way, or what if it's awkward? Because like we're freaking staying in the same bed for three weeks, and it wasn't just like a five day holiday. We were literally there two for weeks. three. No, it was three. It was, it was ages. No, it wasn't. It's three. I feel like it was two and a half at least. I don't know. It was a long Can't holiday. Remember. Like, imagine if we just didn't get along. We would have been stuck with each other. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, obviously all went well. And um, then after Bali, what what happened after then? I think you came over to the Gold Coast for New Year's because yeah. I think it was around like end of the year. Yeah. So he stayed for New Year's and my birthday. And then he went back to Perth. And then we've just been, we did long distance for about, two, was it two and a half years? What? No. It was we've been, ages. We've been together to the day for like right now, about three years, isn't it? Well, our Kentucky was 2017, two years. 18, nah. 19, 20, 20. So I've known you for four years. Yeah, but I don't think we did two and a half. Maybe like a year and a half. I think okay, a year maybe it was a year and a half. It seemed like too, too much going on. Too yeah, much. a year and a half back and forth. It seemed like forever. And then, yeah, so we've been together. So if we met four years ago, when did it came become official? I feel like we don't have a date. Oh, oversized load ahead. I'm confused. I don't know. Where is it? Oh, it's coming. Anyways, that was the next question. My arm's getting sore. How long have we been together for? 
We don't have a date. It just kind of like yeah. happened. There is a date, but like we'll sort of. But we'll like we together was, then when you yeah. like officially asked me. He just, asked me in Bustleton. What's going on here? It was like March 14 or something. I think that's just a big truck. Um, yeah, he asked me like pretty much a year into our relationship. Oh, it's like a little house office thing. <laughs> um, but yeah, we didn't like, he didn't really like, I know it just happened, but I'd say we've been together like three years, yeah, right around now. three years. Hello. Hi. Oh, the seat was moved by Peter. Um, we're home. Honestly, thank fuck, because that literally took us nine hours. We kept stopping because, like, one of us needed to pee. Oh, my God. We got home at, like, nine last night. Was it nine? Yeah, 9 p.m. last night. Um, we were buggered. I didn't even unpack anything. Like, we literally... I think I unpacked my toiletries, had a shower, washed my hair, and then got into bed, and I was wrecked. But I'm up. I'm going to the gym. I wasn't meant to actually go to the gym and do my PT session, but here I am. I was like, I'm gonna have a lazy day if I don't get up and go to the gym because I've got so much to do today. Like, I've got so many parcels to fulfill. I've got a skin appointment. Um, what else do I have to do? I'm also shooting like content on Monday, so I've got to organize that. I've got a hair appointment tomorrow. So I was like, if I don't wake up early and like, go to the gym or do something, I'm going to be in bed until like 10 o'clock and then I won't get out of bed until like, I don't know. Oh, I forgot to get my glasses. No. Okay, I went in and got my glasses. Um, as I was saying, I've got a billion and one things to do. Oh, I have to go to two separate locations to get some parcels. Um, I'll do an unboxing because I got quite a lot. Um, what else? I've got to obviously unpack my suitcase and wash everything. Um, I need to figure out what we're doing about our dining chairs because I don't know if I should just buy some online or do we go back into a shop here in Perth because because mum comes in two weeks and we have no chairs. We literally have three bar stools. Like where's the fourth person going to sit? Um, so yeah, I've got a lot to organize. I'm driving, so I'm gonna put the vlog camera away. Um, I also got some new Gymshark, which I'm super excited for. I'm like literally obsessed with everything they sent me, so I'll do a try on later on. Um, okay, I gotta go. I'll speak to you guys later. Hey guys, so I just finished my appointment with the Skin Fairy. I don't know if I told you that I booked an appointment. Um, yeah, so I booked an appointment in to the Skin Fairy because I've heard amazing things and I have always wanted to try their en enzyme peels. So like they put it all over your face and on your neck. I'll insert a photo of what I looked like. I literally looked scary. Um, but if you've like heard of them before, you've probably seen on their Instagram how post the enzyme peel like all these veins you can kind of see she said mine were very faint actually like all the veins sort of is it veins i don't know but apparently your face can look like that but because it was my first session um she said it's normal for it not to show up straight away um but yeah so she did like a skin consult and they do stock dmk skincare which i've always wanted to try I see it everywhere um you can't actually buy it online or anywhere only at like clinics like specialized clinics so i basically bought everything that she recommended for me so yeah so this is the herb mineral moisture spray um which you put with your um, moisturizer like you spray it with it um what else did she give me a beta gel hydrating beta glucan serum glucan i'm gonna have to read up about it um accu moist hydrating lotion with spf i think that's a moisturizer actually and she also gave me these pore reduction drops um 
but yeah the, the treatment was really nice she gave me a nice like massage like an arm massage it was so relaxing i took some photos like before like for before and after photos oh here's a little instructions manual on how to um do everything expensive but i will invest money into my skin but she also did recommend for me to get my hormones checked and get a blood test um, which she did write down what to check for actually because apparently that helps um, so I'm gonna do that pretty much ASAP actually and she did recommend a naturopath that they like work closely with which is awesome so I'm also gonna book in for that as well I was meant to have a natural like an online naturopath appointment but I don't even know what happened like I feel like she just didn't even email me back. But anyways, I think I'm just going to go there because I'd rather go off recommendations. But yeah, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to unbox everything that I got. Um, maybe just sit down and have a little unboxing sesh. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I have planned for the rest of the day. Oh, yeah, I've got a massive shipment of packaging, literally 30 cartons. Wait, have they arrived? No, Peter's at home. He's like hanging to go to the gym, but he needs to wait for it to arrive. So I better get there ASAP so um, he can go to the gym. Yeah, I've got a massive shipment of packaging arriving today. It's on board for delivery. Um, so yeah, I need to go home and be there for that. So I will chat to you guys when I get home. This is what just arrived. Peter was here to um, receive it. I just got home. All of this is my packaging. So let's open one up, shall we? Oh, my battery is about to die. Shock. Horror. Let's open one. Yep. This is what's in them. Actually, I think I ordered 5,000 of them. Our theatre room is now our warehouse slash storage room <laughs> um, until we find a space, which we're still looking for actually. Um, we're just, I'm just really picky. Like I don't want anything like too big. I just kind of want like a massive two room office. That's so what we're currently doing. We're currently on the hunt for some, I kind of want something like newish. Um, nothing like old, not too big. Like we just want something like small, like even if it's just two rooms, that way we can have like a packing room and then like a storage room. Um, I was planning on having like a content room as well. So I can like take all my videos and photos there for like Jazz Handmade and just like for me. Um, cause that would be cool to like make a little yeah content room or something but yeah that's what i've got planned for today i was gonna do an unboxing i'll see if i've got time because we still need to go grocery shopping i'm gonna meet peter at the shops because he's at the gym um and do like a big shop because we've got no food i haven't had lunch i just had scrambled eggs on toast for brekkie after my pt session and that's all i've had i might even make another coffee or have like a protein bar or something um but i started tracking again um, because I gained like two kilos while I was away. Not that it's a bad thing or anything, but yeah, I just feel a bit fluffy and like, I always feel so much better when I'm like, I know what I'm eating and I'm tracking. So getting it on that tracking bandwagon and yeah, sort this out. This is all my parcels <laughs> that I have to open. This one is a hair extension that I bought. I might... Just open some while I wait for Peter. Okay, let's go through the packages that I got, like I ordered myself. So I did order this hair extension from Beauty Works and I also did buy the Molly May filter tan because one, I love Molly May and I've always wanted to try it. I ended up getting it from Pretty Little Thing. I can't remember how much it cost. I think it was around $60 maybe with shipping. Um, but yeah, I ended up getting that because I've wanted to try it. So I might actually try it tomorrow when I tan and keep you updated. But I will open this. This I'm excited about because one, I didn't even know that these types of hair extensions existed. And two, I got a different color. I got a brown one. It's like a mousy brown, kind of like the same color as my like actual hair. So I thought... I would get a 
a plait. Is it called a plait hair extension? Anyways, it's made for putting your hair in a plait, basically. So I ended up, ooh, that's a nice color. It's got like some blonde through it. So this one was around, I think, $170. It's real hair, so you can style it. Um, but the thing I loved about it is it comes in like sections. So you tie this around your hair, like your ponytail. Is that gonna... It comes in like sections like this. So you put them on this hair tie and so there's like, oh, there's, wait, does plaits have two or three? I'm pretty sure they have three. Anyway, so you put this like around my ponytail and then you can just plait it. Should I put one in? Let me see what it looks like. Because I'm loving wearing my hair like slick lately. So I'm, so like this. And then this has kind of got like blonde through it. I probably did get the wrong color to be honest because my hair is so blonde, but we'll see. All right, so this is gonna be so hard to do, but this is the color. Oh, I don't know if I like the color. I guess because it'll be in a plait, you won't really be able to tell, but I don't know what the color looks like. I'm gonna go put it in a plait and I'll be right back and show you guys what it looks like. Okay. That's actually really cool. I haven't seen what it looks like from the back. What, does it look funny? Oh my God, I love it. I feel like I want a blonde one as well. But I just thought because I am growing my hair out and not dyeing it for six months, I actually haven't dyed it since December. So I am actually going to get my hair done on Monday now. I was meant to go tomorrow. Um, I'm just going to go in and get a treatment. But that's why I bought like a brown, brownie color. Because this is just going to keep growing out. Um, so it doesn't look funny with the blonde. But I actually love this. Like, that is so cool. I'm going to keep it in and go shop, like rock up to bloody Woolworths in it. And Peter's going to be like, what the fuck? And then I got some face shavers, which I actually had some of these ages ago and I lost them. But when I did them, oh my God, the difference that it made in my skin texture and my makeup application, amazing. So I'm gonna definitely do that because I haven't done it in ages. And then they've also sent me some, I'm guessing these are like makeup removers. So they sent me a couple of them. And then, oh, a cute little, could use this for makeup a little case okay, so thank you so much they're from the brand dreamy skin okay peter's ready so i'm gonna go um and meet him at the shops but i'll unbox the rest when i get back or even tomorrow but i'll obviously show you guys what we get from the shops <laughs> how freaking big was this package okay gotta go good morning everyone so i thought i would show you guys some of the pieces that i got from gymshark I did mention that I got a massive parcel. However, these pieces that I'm about to show you guys will be a part of their afterpay sale. So they're having up to 50% off these products. Well, not these, I just selected these, but there's so many products on the website that'll be up to 50% off. So I thought I would show you guys what I picked up. I also do have a affiliate link with Gymshark, which I will leave in the description down below. Um, and I will be posting them on my stories as well. So yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up, what sizes, and I will leave all the information about the sale this Thursday in the description box down below. Okay, so this is the first sports bra. I got all the sports bras in a medium. I just prefer a less compressive fit in crops, um, but I got a small in all bottoms. So this I'm pretty sure comes in pink as well, but how gorgeous is the ruching down the center? Removable padding here, which I probably will remove because I usually do remove the padding in my sports bras, but that is the first crop that I got. And then these shorts, oh my God, are so comfy. So I ended up getting these ones in a medium. So they've got like a really thick waistband. They feel like really good quality. They're actually quite thick, um, the material. They've got pockets on either side. How cute does this color combo look together? So they are the first two items. Now I'm gonna chuck on some leggings. Okay, next crop, I love this so much. It's definitely a lot more of like a 
I, I feel like it would be like a lower intensity crop because it's not super tight, which I love. And I love that the inside of the straps have this like clear like type rubber so it wouldn't like ride up or move. Pretty sure this also comes in different colors, but I thought gray and pink always look really good together. And I'm obsessed with anything like gray marl. By the way, these are actually in a size medium. I thought I got them in a size small. I do have small Gymshark tights like in my wardrobe and they fit me really well. These are just a little bit on like the more relaxed side, which sometimes I prefer, especially if I'm like wearing active wear during the day, not at the gym and I just wanna be comfortable. So yeah, this one is in a medium and I'm pretty sure these ones are the Vital Seamless, which is one of their probably most popular type of leggings. I always see people rave about them. They don't have any um, like inner seam. Um, they've got like paneling on the legs, as you can see. These ones are full length. I'm 164 centimeters, so they fit me really well. Like they're not too long for me. Next set, these actually I think are like matching, like the matching set because they look very similar so this is a crop obviously it actually feels like a really high support crop like i feel like my boobs won't go anywhere and then these are the charcoal leggings i love that they're like speckled like that speckled charcoal i absolutely love again these are seamless as well and they are full length i actually love this set it's super flattering as well also, just a reminder that this is what most people look like before putting on tights. You know, that's what tights are for. That's normal. That is normal, guys. That's why we have high-waisted tights. <laughs> okay, I'm not usually much of a shorts person, but these are really lightweight. Um, they've got that inner rubber on the inside of this so you can see the band i'm not sure how well you can really see it because it's all black but i ended up yeah getting a medium in these but these are also really comfy for just lounging around the house in or if you do like to work out in these oh that's a better light um if you like to work out in these types of shorts like they're like really thin and like breathable like i said i will leave the links to all the pieces um in the description box down below and yeah did i tell you that it is an affiliate link so if you do shop through my link it supports me so thanks in advance um but yeah this thursday i'm pretty sure it's 5 a.m perth time um on the australian website everything goes live. I'm gonna continue on my unboxing. Not gonna lie, I did peek through some of them last night because they were just chilling on the floor while we're watching TV and I was like, I really wanna know what's in them. So I opened a few, so we've done that one. This one from Etoile is so cute. I've already opened it, so I know what's inside. So I don't even know why I redid the ribbon. So they are, so Etoile Collective is the brand of vanity that I have, um, like the massive mirror with the lights around the outside. And they have just sent me, so it says in the month of March, we're focusing on feeling good inside your beauty space. So enjoy this little feel good pack with a daily affirmation to go on your mirror. How cool is this? I'm going to stick them on. So it says, I am powerful. I am grateful and I am magnetic and you can stick that on like any mirrored surface. I might even put one in my bathroom actually. That might be really cute. So thank you so much. And they sent me a face mask and then some chocolate. Okay, next up is a package from Laura Mercier. I've already opened this. Firstly, every time I get a PR package from Laura Mercier, they send it in these beautiful like makeup bags, which I always use. So they have just come out with, like how cool is that? Oh my God. It like doubles as a little jewelry. That's such a good idea. That's so nice. Okay, so they've just come out with their secret camouflage ooh, concealer. So that's it. And they always handwrite a note that is just immaculate. Like their handwriting, whoever writes this has amazing handwriting. So basically, yes, yeah, their new um, camouflage concealers, which I will try. Thank you so much. Laura Mercier, I might actually keep that in the package. And then we've got the newest product 
to the Esme family. You've probably seen it on Instagram. You follow people. So it's their new ooh, reflection eye balm. It's like an eye cream. I'm excited to try that. Oh my God, how cool is this? I'm guessing you like keep this in the fridge and you just put it on your eyes. That's so, that's such a good idea. I actually love that. Restore and refresh with this ultra moisturizing eye balm. Thank you so much, Esme. We'll definitely give that a go. It's actually quite a heavy package. From the Booty Co, original booty brand. Okay, so they've sent me a few of these like little lollies. Hubba Bubba, it actually smells amazing. So we've got a body lotion, no, booty lotion, hydrating and firming. We've got a booty scrub, a booty mask, booty wash, and then an intimate area gel. Interesting, and then just some chockies. Thank you so much for sending those. Then we've got this little package from a sharky. Yeah, a sharky. Oh, it's a little bit oily up in here. We've got a lip balm and a plumping gloss and what's this? Maybe a lip scrub? So thanks guys for thinking of me. Next up, this is actually a invitation to a event in Brisbane, unfortunately. So I can't make it from Lust Minerals. They're doing a rebrand. How cool are these? I might actually use these in something. These little cute dried flowers. Oh, cute, a little um, bottle of champagne. That's a bit cute. It's so cute. Thank you so much. And unfortunately, I won't be able to attend because yeah, it's in Brisbane and I'm in Perth. And also mum's coming, I'm pretty sure that week that that um, event is on. So yeah, thank you so much for the invitation. Can't wait to see the new products actually. This one is from Pat McGrath. Jasmine, my gorgeous, turn your lips on with the latest liquid matte manus. Oh, I love these colors. Oh my God, look at them all. They're all like really nice, rosy, brownie nude colors. Don't know how well you can see, but thank you so much. Oh my God, I'm definitely gonna give them a go. And I got a coffee delivery from Urban Brew Co. They sent me some more of these. They're like waffle cones with chocolate on the inside and then you just put a shot of coffee in it. It's fucking amazing, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I'll show you the coffee pods, but basically if you haven't heard of Urban Brew, they're an eco-friendly um, coffee company. So that's what they look like. And it's all like biodegradable. Like even this plastic, all of these are biodegradable. Like how freaking cool is that? Um, and they taste really good. Like I personally can't taste the difference between coffees. Like even like with an espresso ones that I have, like I can't taste the difference, lol, my ponytail. Um, I don't know, like unless it's flavored, then yeah, but like actual brands, I don't know. I don't really notice difference, but if it's helping the planet, I would definitely opt for these because how amazing is that? Um, so yeah, I do have a discount code for Urban Brew. It's not like an affiliate code or anything. Um, they just gave it to me. It's Jazz10. So if you wanna check them out, then yeah, I will leave their Instagram or their website down below. So Peter's just gone to the gym. I still need to empty my suitcase and wash it. I've already done one load of washing. Um, and then tonight I'm gonna tan with that new um, Molly May tan. I'm actually so excited to try it. By the way, my skin post that enzyme treatment is, it doesn't even feel like I had a treatment to be honest. I'm not seeing any like difference. I do have a bit of makeup on because I just did film some stories just before, um, only just a really thin layer. And then I've got a translucent powder over the top. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see if those products that were like prescribed to me, make a difference. I used it in my skincare routine this morning and yeah, I really like the product so far. By the way, plant update, if you guys care. Remember that leaf was all shriveled up before we left and now it's thriving. So I actually left it outside while we were away just to get some sort of sunlight. Um, I just left it on the patio there, but 
I can definitely tell that this is the spot that it loves because yeah, it just looks a little bit like flat when I brought it in. Um, but yeah, I love it. I need to get one of those dishes that you guys recommended from Bunnings. We're going to go to Bunnings to do the stools next week. So I'll get a dish for the pot, but I am obsessed with this plant. I'm wondering how big it gets. Like, does it get much bigger than that? Also, I've got some frustrating as fuck news. Um, so basically, Ozpost invoices me, I think, once every few weeks or maybe once a month. I don't actually know. But usually they email me and they say, like, this is your invoice due, like, for shipping and stuff like that because I've got to pay all of that in one go um, just from all the orders. So, yeah, I got an email... It was on the 3rd of March and apparently it was already overdue, but I never got the first email because it went to my junk folder and I really rarely check my junk. So um, I was just like thinking last night, it's been a while since I paid my last shipping invoice. And then I was like, oh, I'll just do a search um, on my emails and I couldn't find anything. And I was like, oh, let's just see if it went into junk and it did. And I, there was three emails in there, like the initial invoice email and then like the follow-up and then the, this is overdue. Um, if it's not paid within 24 hours, your account will be locked. And I was like, oh my God. So I paid it pretty much straight away. Um, this is before I try to sh print off shipping labels because that's what I was planning on doing this weekend because I have over a hundred to fulfill. Um, and when I went to go print the shipping labels, it said that my account was locked and I was like, that's not right. So I quickly went onto my emails and I saw that the invoice was overdue. I paid it straight away. And then I emailed, actually I called them and because it was already past the hours of the business day, they couldn't help me until Monday. So how... How annoying. I can't even like get started on shipping the orders that I got while I was away until Monday when they unlock it. So yeah, I will obviously get, try and get as much done Monday morning as I can and like drop it off that afternoon. Um, but it looks like Tuesday and Wednesday are probably, actually, I think I would be done by Tuesday. Like I don't think it would take me more than two days to do everything. Um, just because I am getting quite quick at it. But yeah, it's just annoying because I plan to have it all done by Monday pickup. But now it's looking like Tuesday pickup or even Wednesday. It just depends on, yeah, how long it takes me. But oh, how annoying. Like I literally freaked out thinking like, what have I done? What's gone wrong? Um, but yeah, that is why. Because my invoice was overdue. So love that for me. Um, so yeah, just... Be patient. I'm getting some email saying, where's my order? But the note's still on the website anyway. So yeah, hopefully Tuesday slash Wednesday, I will start. Well, you guys will have received tracking and stuff like that. So yeah, that's a little update on Jazz Handmade. Also completely forgot to show you guys this new diary that I got from Basic Girls Guide. How cool are the stickers? I actually love this. Love all the little quotes and stuff. And I love that there's like a page for every day of the week. And I love this as well. So cool. She did give me a discount code actually when she reached out to me, Jazz20, if you're wanting to get your hands on a 2021 diary. Super cute. I don't think the pink is in stock, but they've got like a neutral color and a black as well, but yeah. Happy Sunday. So I thought I'd give you guys a little review on the tan that I put on last night. So I used obviously the Molly May tan. I feel like it's coming up a lot lighter than what I'm seeing in the mirror, but I actually really like it. Um, it went on really like, not watery, but it spread really easily. Maybe this mirror might be a bit better. I guess you can't really tell. So I put like one really thick, I guess, layer on. Um, it dried pretty quick. When I first put it on though, I freaked out because it looked orange, like literally bright orange. And I was like, oh no. But I'm trying to find like good lighting. I'm just wearing a crop. You can't really tell. It's like a really nice bronzy. It's kind of quite natural, like not 
orangey. I, I would say it's more like orange based, if that makes sense, rather than like green based like Bondi Sands. But like, I feel like it really complements like my skin tone. It really doesn't look, it's not the darkest tan that I've ever tried. I feel like the Bali body tan and my Bondi Sands goes darker. But then again, I only put one layer on because I was scared just in case. It is quite even as well. Like I don't have any like streaks or anything on. I feel like for beginners, it's a good tan because it was really easy to apply. Like it just went on really smoothly. Like it wasn't streaky. I really like it. I think next time I um, do it, I will put on another layer just because I like a deep dark tan and like lasts a bit longer. shops and I just realized we didn't show you what we got you right what we got a couple days ago but we yeah we just went to Coles got some more of these I didn't really like the other flavor that I tried so I'm gonna try them strawberry spinach how big is this broccolini bunch and I've always I've been on the hunt to get one of these so you put your it's like an oil sprayer you just put olive oil in it and it breaks out olive oil um, instead of using the olive oil in the tins, just a bit better for you. So I got that. Some pea snaps, haven't had them in ages. Sandwich thins. We also need to clean the washing machine, so we got this. Yuck, Peter's tuna. We also got these for dinner. Stand and stuff tortilla boats. That goes all right on them actually. The bread that we use, Country Life, a capsicum and some solo zero yeah is that all we got yeah i just found these two packages on the floor <laughs> so i opened them up and mr consistent have sent me some of their cocktail mix we bought this when we were in queensland actually with riley i love it and it's really good macros as well all you have to do is you just mix in like whatever spirit you want like tequila vodka i think i used i think we used tequila in ours they're the macros but they actually taste like a cocktail when you're out like it actually tastes amazing they've sent me a little cute mixer which is super cute and then these like dried limes and these like edible flower garnishes to go on top thank you so much i just need cocktail or like martini glasses because i don't have any so i might actually go online and get some because that would be pretty cute to make for Easter. Um, they also gave me a discount code, which is jazz. So thank you so much. And then Mark Jacobs Fragrances sent me this. It actually smells really nice. Thank you so much. And I love their packaging always. We also went to Bunnings just before so I can get a little plate for my plant, which we did. It actually fits perfectly underneath it. So I love that. I think I need to actually water it. I haven't watered it in like two weeks. Maybe I'll water it tomorrow a bit, but someone said that they can go like a couple weeks without watering it. Cause I did used to water it every week, but apparently they don't need to be watered every week. So yeah, it's getting a bit dry, but I might actually wipe down the leaves. I can't believe this was like shriveled up, not even two weeks ago. And now it's like literally the biggest leaf. <laughs> Here's my little creation. Using these, they're only 70 cals each, which is not too bad. I filled it with beef mints, tomato, uh, I was gonna say celery, um, spinach, onion, and avocado. And then I topped it with this, which is a really low cal sauce. Is that gonna focus? So yeah, yum. Hey guys, so I'm just on the couch editing this vlog and it's literally at an hour. I didn't realize how much I vlogged this week, but I think I need to wrap it up here before it ends up being two hours. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week.